All right, so, as you can tell, I've been dealt a interesting hand. I started filming this just a little bit late, but I figured I may as well try and make a post of this or a video of this to try and see if uh, any of this could be of any use to you guys. And so a uh, customer said, I uh, got it, these uh, pipes tacked up for you, they're ready to go. I go, oh, great, thank you very much. Uh, however, this is what uh, basically how I got them uh, when I got here, or what I what I'm getting when I showed up. And so uh, sometimes uh, you're dealt a bad hand, and you gotta make the best of it. And so that's what I'm gonna try and uh, show you guys how to do uh, with minimal tooling. If uh, oh man, this is a good one. Got here, golly. Uh, so. Uh, uh, there's a interesting uh, term called a uh, Texas TIG. Take the flux off of a rod. In this case, it's a 532 7018. I'm gonna try and stick that puppy in there and weld it up. Woo. Maybe need two of them. I don't know. But I'm gonna try and show you guys the process of it just to, just to bridge a gap. Now, this is not uh, for any strength or integrity to say, like for pressure pipe or any of that. This is just the casing for sticking in the ground. They just don't want it to leak. And uh, no pressures under it. I mean, there's no, no pressure, they're open-ended. That's uh, for drill shafts, actually. So they just don't want water leaking in. And uh, again, this is only for entertainment purposes. I know I'll probably get a bunch of uh, criticism on this. <laughs> but I don't care. And uh, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, so. I'm dealt with this hand and I just got to make the best of it. So I thought I'd show you guys uh, how it turns out. So I'm just going to show you guys this little section here, I believe. Or maybe that section down there as well. Just kind of see if you guys get the, the point of how it works. So hang tight. All right, so in this case, I'm using a 6011 rod. I'm going to do somewhat of a whip pattern once I put this in there, just to try and attach this rod to one side. Uh, I'm not gonna try and use it to bridge the whole gap like, like actual TIGging, because that'll end up melting a lot of uh, a lot of this material and you end up with a lot of trouble. It's just a lot of trouble. So if you're able to weld this rod to the one side first, let that cool, and then weld this rod on this side, uh, one at a time, you'll have more material in the center that hasn't melted away and it's more of a continuous piece. So, here we go. 332 rod, by the way. Big gap. Now here I'm gonna struggle a bit, but 
I may add a little bit more rod. Kind of like that. got a lot of uh, little spots that I skipped uh, which is okay because I'll just go back and fill those and here's another struggle I might add a little bit more now again this is only for entertainment purposes this is uh, <laughs> not really the right way to do it but oh well all right let's keep going Basically, I'm melting this edge away to create more filler metal. Now, it is, it's making the weld, I guess, uh, it'll be the, a wider weld pass because I'm melting away this edge. But this melted material helps roll down into the, the groove there and attach itself to the filler piece. So, hang tight, I'll clean it up here in a second. I need some more right in here.
look there it's not really all that pretty but i was able to weld on the left right side and weld on the left side and fill in uh, the center so now i'll be doing what's considered i guess my uh, hot pass and then i'll show you again here and pause be like this with the 7018 now I probably have undercut uh, I will have undercut because of that side and uh, I could probably do two passes maybe I don't know I'm gonna try it with one pass first see if I can pull that off actually I might switch to a 532 right I was using 8 inch these are 332s for the root and the hot pass of a 611s so I'll change over to 7018 to 532 and see if I can fill that up a little bit better. It looks like that's what they were using here. That's a big old weld. Big and hot. Attack at least. And up here, same thing. Okay. So, let's see what comes of it.
a bigger weld. Oh man, big old tractor weld. I, I call tractor weld big old wide weld, you know, like a or a hot dual shield or a big old spray. Anyway, uh, that's that one. This one down here should be a little bit easier and then that one down there will be a little bit tougher. But just thought I'd give you guys a glimpse. And uh, I don't know, I may uh, add the rest of it to it. Just to kind of see if you can pick up some more pointers. Alright, so thanks for watching. If I don't continue, and if I do continue, hang on. There's more. See ya.